Hi. Today I am bringing a new topic to my subscribers. So today's topic is dizziness or it can also be called as vertigo or unsteadiness. Say feeling of falling and uh, unstable. So first we need to know what exactly is vertigo when you say and what exactly is dizziness and what types of uh, dizziness are there. First of all, if you are having a chance of reeling whether you are turning yourself or you, whether you feel like the surroundings are turning around you, this is vertigo. That is spinning, sense of spinning is vertigo. Then another one is unsteadiness. You feel while you are walking as if uh, you, are, you may tend to fall or you are not very stable, that is unsteadiness. Or another one is feeling of say, say sort of uh, blackout when you suddenly stand up from your sitting position and after some time you become alright. Okay. So, there are certain ways of having this dizziness. Dizziness, vertigo, unsteadiness, they are all symptoms. They are not diseases. So, they are what we feel. But is balance is important for living, you know, consciously with self-esteem. And when your balance is is gone when you are imbalanced you feel you know very insecure and even your self esteem is gone so this unsteadiness dizziness vertigo whatever is really really disabling at times so let us try to define the symptoms how they are uh, you know classified first of all if you are having unsteady and if it is for a long lasting unsteadiness, it could be problem of your brain, central nervous system. But if you are having reeling sensation for a few seconds to few minutes to few hours to days together, it is mainly because of the peripheral nervous system that is most important part of the peripheral nervous system is our vestibular apparatus which lies one on each side uh, in your inside your ear. Ear has got three parts, one is external part, another one is middle part and the inner part which is the nerve part. We call it as a labyrinth and in that these structures which are maintaining our you know balance are available there. So you know God was so you know specialized engineer. He is the best of the best engineer and he has met all this before time immemorial means from the evolution it has been put to us. So our balance maintenance, how do we maintain our balance? The most important structures that maintain our balance is the labyrinth on each side of our head in the ear, inside the ear. Another is our eyes. Eyes are also helping in correction and uh, stab stabilizing our gait and our balance. Next is our nervous system, mainly joints, bone, muscles uh, and uh, nerves supplying them. They are all taking part in the maintenance of balance. They give the signals upward at the same time from the brain signals are given to them to maintain our balance. Say for example when you are about to fall, you outstretch your hand and you are in a position, even your eyes are looking towards the side you are falling. So this is how it is being done, it is being done by the brain. It is a synchronized process of the central nervous system. Okay, So these are the structures which maintain our balance. One is labyrinth, eyes, nervous system in the peripheral nerves like muscle, joints and all the nerves. Okay. Now, how these, all these, you know, signals are integrated, they are integrated in the brain stem, then from there into the cerebellum and the cortex. All of them 
you know going together okay so first of all how do we have a sense of unsteadiness sense of unsteadiness is a imbalance or certain nervous problem in the nervous pathways which is mainly for a long lasting period we have so that is the central nervous system part another one is you know dizziness and the vertigo mainly vertigo vertigo mainly it is coming from the peripheral nervous system but a long lasting vertigo usually comes from the central nervous system okay now how do we have a sense of really our vestibular apparatus of one side when it is stimulated it pushes our eyes to the other side okay now if right side is stimulated eyes are pushed to the left side when left side is stimulated eyes are pushed to the right side okay so our vestibular systems are maintaining our balance so it they are like twin engines of an aeroplane when an aeroplane is flying what happened if one engine fell the other engine push the aeroplane on that side okay and the aeroplane tends to turn towards the failed failed engine okay now who sees it the pilot sees it who is the pilot pilot is our brain so brain tries to correct it so when two vestibular apparatus when one vestibular apparatus is gone the other vestibular apparatus takes the upper hand and it pushes you know we tend to turn on the other side and this is corrected by our brain now when this vestibular apparatus stimulated this one is failed what will happen the eyes slowly comes to this side turn to this side so uh, you, our brain starts knowing that oh eye is turning to our side and we tend to you know turn on this side now suddenly there is correction from the center okay so there is a slow slow movement of the eyes because of the stimulating of the vestibular apparatus on this side but this vestibular apparatus fell so this takes the upper hand so it slowly pushed the eye to this side the body also turned to this side and suddenly there is correction this sort of jerky movement of the eye eye earlier were moving on this side then suddenly it is coming back so this moving on one side and a correction slow moving on one side and correction is called nystagmus this can be seen in the patient's eye eyes you know when the patient is having vertigo you can see you can look into the eyes eyes will be moving like this okay like this slow movement on the side and quick movement slow movement on the side and quick movement okay like this this is how it is being explained how we feel really okay now what are the causes of vertigo the causes of vertigo are there are few diseases in which we have vertigo the these diseases are mainly number one is most common is pppv that is benign positional paroxysmal vertigo or this is related to certain head position when or when we try to reach up to a higher object and uh, so we try to turn back suddenly there is a sense of reeling or you know uh, turning or spinning this lasts for a few seconds few seconds only okay so this is bppv this comes off and on and patient is very anxious and they come to the to the ent doctor so this is the most common part the most common type of you know dizziness and this can be this is due to some floating materials inside the labyrinth labyrinth is filled with fluid and when there is some you know material floating into that solid material this sort of you know disease occurs okay this is benign positional paroxysmal vertigo or nystagmus now in another case that is called meniere's disease here a patient usually usually have hearing problems like ringing in the ear heaviness in the ear and uh, sudden you know starting of vertigo then hearing is lost for some time and it recovers again okay dizziness also gone and the hearing also improves and this occurs say, uh, uh, when it comes it stays for a few hours to few days and patient become all right after that after some treatment okay during the time of this uh, you know episodic vertigo patient will have vomiting 
nausea and all you know um, incapacitating what type of patient may have patient may get admitted in the hospital also in these cases but usually it comes back and it comes once in few months to few years and sometimes after many years it can come back so this is called Meniere's disease okay this is also a disease of the ear next will be vestibular migraine vestibular migraine is very common very very common and uh, it is related to migraine you know so migraine is a headache mainly related with headache sometimes uh, dizziness and uh, severe headache especially on one side and related with exposure to the sunshine or sunlight or when the patient is under stress, lack of sleep, under you know uh, having too much busy schedule like that. So and uh, when a person is having emotional you know uh, emotional problems so these things can happen. So this sort of uh, vestibular migraine they usually last for few hours to few days mainly few hours to few days sometimes maybe few you know minutes minutes only also it can last so these are related to sometimes going towards in the sunshine when the patient is having under stress and sleep legs like that okay then our beyond this we have many other diseases which cause you know very severe vertigo just like in labyrinthitis then vestibular neuronitis it lasts for few days to weeks okay but if you are having vertigo which is the movement of the eye a bit pendular means there is no quick movement and the slow movement but there is more or less the similar movement pendular we call it pendular movement and lasting for many days so these are mainly due to central nervous system causes treatment of the you know uh, vertigo or dizziness most of the time they are effective but it takes time but most important is that during the recovery stage we advise the patient to do certain form of exercises we call it vestibular adaptation exercises at the same time you know walking then you know uh, doing different sort of yogic poses then movements and there are certain you know body movements exercises usually tell the patient with that it usually comes back to normalcy there are certain tests to be done for vertigo so most important thing is to find out the disease treatment is easy but better to find out the disease because vertigo is just a symptom so how to find out first we have to do all in the routine investigations like blood tests for blood sugar thyroid, kidney function, liver function, whether patient is having any syphilis or this type of diseases, systemic diseases. Other than that, we have to find out whether there is any problem inside the ear, whether any ear problem, whether any brain tumor, for that we have to do MRI or CT scan. After that, we have to find out the functional, you know, problems. So whether there is any defect in the pathway, uh, due to certain diseases inside the brain or inside the nervous system for that we have to do VNG that is video nystemography that is the the test for dizziness or vertigo so once we do all these tests we'll come to a diagnosis then treatment is easy if it is BPPV we do certain you know uh, head position changes like Ipley's maneuver then if we uh, have uh, long standing cases of vertigo and repeated vertigo we, during the time of having vertigo we give labyrinthine sedatives like stemetal, vertin and you must be knowing some of them by their names. So these are the medicines we give for treatment of such such uh, symptoms like vertigo. Okay. So as such vertigo is not to be much afraid about because it is just a symptom it is not a disease and most of the time it burns out by itself so this is about vertigo or dizziness okay friends this must for today and i hope you learned something from what we have uh, 
discuss today and after this kindly give comments so that I can come back to you and help you out. Okay, bye-bye.